Yeah, I'm Frank this guy. I just started it. Okay? Not different uh, 
different organisms have different numbers of chromosomes. I think I have a chart here. Yes. I do have a chart. A frog only has 26 chromosomes per cell. A cat has 38 chromosomes per cell. A chimp has 48 chromosomes per cell. A goldfish has 94 chromosomes per cell. So each species has a different number of chromosomes per cell. What's a southern Adam's tongue fern? It's a fern. It's a type of fern. It's got a lot of chromosomes. But they're all real small. So we have 46 big ones. This I'm showing you has six chromosomes. Some fictional animal that organism that has six chromosomes per cell. Isn't that before they took the original five? Well, is there any evidence here that the cell has copied its DNA? Just yeah. looking up here, is there any evidence? Yes, there are sister chromatids. This is the chromos the original chromosome, and it copied itself. And there's the copy attached to it in the middle. This middle point is called the centromere. And if we look up on the board here, there's the centromere, the connection point between the two sister chromatids. See, they're called sister chromatids, and they're called that because they're exact copies of one another. The DNA has copied itself exactly. Okay? Mm. So, in the first phase, prophase, we see the chromosomes coil up from chromatin that was dispersed. What else do we see? Do you remember from your reading? Something to do with in this prophase? eraser. The nuclear goes. The, 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 nu that the nucleus away. disappears. The nuclear membrane disappears. It's eaten up by enzymes and destroyed. And now the chromosomes are free. Yes. Free to move around. And then the spindle apparatus. Uh, the centrioles start moving to opposite sides and they so spit out a bunch of spindle fibers. Aren't those also microtubules? Yes, they're made of microtubules. That's correct. Do we have to know the two different kinds? Um. Kinetochore fibers, did it say that in your book? Yeah, it gave, it yes. gave us the two different types. What did it say the two different types were? Um, kinetochore and non-kinetochore microtubules? I'm going to have to find it. I know where it is. Um, oh, asters. Yes. Yes, it's got some, there are some going backwards like this. They're called asters. Asters are, 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 are basically spindle fibers that go backwards and attach to the plasma membrane to give this structure something to, like anchor, so, to anchor it. Exactly. Like a grapple hook? Yes. Question. Where's the rest of the stuff in the cell? It's still there, just I'm not showing it. So the asters go on to the opposite side and microtubules come out of the other side. Yes, these are yeah, these are called kinetochore microtubules. I don't know if your book uses that word. So we call these uh these are just kind of a general name for these are spindle fibers. Spindle fibers. And I'll show you once again this video of what happens in prophase. And then I'll show you a real video of prophase happening. What it really looks like. Oh, you should click enable all. Okay, I'll do that next time. Then. During prophase, the nucleoli disappear and chromatin fibers coil up to become discrete chromosomes. Each chromosome consists of two identical sister chromatids joined at the centromere. Microtubules grow out from the centrosomes, initiating formation of the mitotic spindle. Awesome. Now you want to see this happening in real cell life? Why not? Sure. Enable all. Wow. <laughs> ah. Bro, you didn't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a nucleus of a cell. Here is a nucleus in early prophase. This time-lapse movie shows the chromatin condensing to form visible chromosomes. Whoa, isn't that cool? Chromatin, all spread out. 
chromosomes all coiled up. Chromatin all spread out. Chromosomes all coiled up. Spread yeah. out, coiled up. Like eggs Curly, yeah. straight. Curly, <laughs> straight. Simpsons. I showed the Simpsons. Um, you can see how there's a lot more chromosomes in this cell. I was doing a cell with six chromosomes. There might be, I don't know, if that's a human cell, that might be 45, 46 chromosomes. So they don't even remotely look like X's. Yeah, but if you could look at them close up, you would see they are X's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? That's prophase. There's a pro-metaphase that your book skips that we do in AP. You want to see what happens in pro-metaphase? Okay. We don't want to do it. It's not recommended. You know. <laughs> it's not recommended. Why? During pro-metaphase, the nuclear envelope breaks into fragments. Some of the spindle fibers reach the chromosomes and attach to kinetochores, structures made of proteins and specific sections of DNA at the centromeres. Non-kinetochore microtubules overlap with those coming from the opposite pole. So basically, our book does prometaphase as prophase. The centrioles continue, the nuclear membrane dissolves completely, and the chromosomes attach to the spindle fibers. So, in our book, prophase and prometaphase are both prophase. So, all that happens in prophase. So, you should, if you're writing this essay, you should probably do a, you know, a paragraph on each of these, and maybe a paragraph on the cell cycle, and you'll be good to go. You know, the G1, S, and G2. Yeah. Okay. And then mitosis. Mitosis is all of this together. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, yeah. And cytokinesis. I'll put, let me put cytokinesis in. That's, that's the last one. That's the last part. That's when they divide into two new cells and the cell walls form. Do it, Sophie. I'm glad you can read, Sophie. Because I just wrote my essay. Hey, she's already written her essay. Leave her alone. Okay, metaphase. Second phase. Metaphase. Listen. In metaphase, all the chromosomes move along. Now, you got to imagine these microtubules go all the way up here. I don't want to draw it because it gets too confusing. But the microtubules go all the way, and these things slide along the microtubules until they're all lined up in the middle. Metaphase middle. Those are kind of like those, uh, yeah, one more. The the things that you use ATP to walk stuff. Is it kind of like that? Well, it's, it's kind of like these, these chromosomes are just sitting there in the cell, yeah. and when those little microtubules come up to them, they can grab onto the microtubules on so both like, sides like and use that to shimmy to the middle. So it's kind of like shimmy. Or it's kind of like the mitochondria. Oh, but also in the um, cytokinesis, isn't it in the animal cells? They yeah. form the fallow. We'll get, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. At metaphase, Watch the mitotic it. spindle is fully formed, and the kinetochore microtubules move the chromosomes to the metaphase plate, an imaginary plane equidistant from the poles. Metaphase middle. They're lined up in the middle. Watch. That one's kind Woo! Doop! Kind of Lined up. Not lined up. Lined up. Prophase, metaphase. Prophase, metaphase. Curly, straight. Okay, anaphase. You ready for anaphase? Yeah, absolutely. Anaphase is when these things break up and start moving to opposite sides. Do you know how I remember that? How? Because in college, I went out with a girl named Anna. Aww. And we broke, broke up. up. Oh. And moved and to opposite face. sides of campus. It was that bad. Graham, are you getting all this? Yeah, you no, you're not, because your head's down, because you're sleeping. Yeah. Oh, I heard Pick you your head up. Heard all the way up. Scientific there you go. Heard about the whole campus. Break up, move across. Break up, move across, part. Break up, move apart. That's anaphase. You want to see anaphase? Video footage of anaphase. Hey, look, you didn't have to click anything. Ooh, this is, this really happened. This is a real picture. Watch. Real picture. During anaphase, the chromatids separate and are pulled to opposite poles. What? Awesome. 
No way. Together, metaphase, anaphase. You're right here. You metaphase, anaphase. What did you say, Hogan? Curly, straight. Curly, straight. Curly, straight. One, Hogan. More video footage of anaphase. Anaphase begins when the two centromeres of each chromosome come apart, separating the sister chromatids. The kinetochore microtubules shorten, pulling the chromosomes to opposite poles. At the same time, non-kinetochore microtubules lengthen, pushing the two poles farther apart and elongating the cell. They anaphase, break up. So the non-kinetochore... So who, who broke up with who? Is it a mutual agreement? <laughs> oh, I can't talk about it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's my acting. That's good. That's good. Yes. Okay. The, 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 the non, non the non are non 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 Okay, now finally telophase. A lot happens in telophase. This will be a longer paragraph. The chromosomes arrive at opposite ends of the cell. Can you erase these? You ready? You know how I remember this? The chromosomes arrive at opposite ends of the cell. How do you memorize it? Because <laughs> telophase and the telephone, and they've got a, you know when you had the cord yeah. with the two cans on the side? Yeah. They've got the spindle fibers that connect the two new cells, and they look like the cans, you know? You're just confused. They me. go this way, and they form. Wait, I just totally lost the entire lesson. Okay, but one thing in telephase, listen, Drew up here. One thing in telephase is the spindle fibers actually start to disappear. After the chromosomes have arrived to opposite sides, the spindle fibers disappear and new nuclear envelopes form. A new nuclear envelope forms on each side. And they have a little nucleus. The cell starts to break in two. And in animal cells, there's a pinching inward like this. Now, since the chromosomes have arrived at opposite sides, they no longer need to be all coiled up. The coiling up was just to move them. Now, after they've arrived, they can unwind back into their chromatin. Yes, Hogan? Have the centrioles let all their microtubules come back to them? The microtubules that they let out are just destroyed. Oh, really? So nothing's attaching right now? No. No. Okay. Okay. And Good question. that's telephase. Ready for telephase? Yep. Always. I was born ready. Telephase video footage. We are, you didn't have to push anything right then. That's so During great. telephase, nuclear envelopes form around the identical sets of chromosomes at the two poles of the cell. The chromosomes uncoil and nucleoli appear in the two new nuclei. See how you can't see the chromosomes anymore? Yes. They're no. unwound. Yeah, I can kind of see. It's just a bunch of fishing line now. Then our book is wrong. Nuclei. Yeah. Meanwhile, the cytokinesis begins, splitting the cytoplasm and separating the two daughter cells. Okay, let's talk about this last part, cytokinesis, when the cell breaks in two. It happens in two ways. In animal cells, there's a pinching in. And what's that? It's actually like a belt tightening. There's a belt of proteins called a contractile ring. And it would be like if I took this belt on me and started tightening it, and tightening it, and tightening it. It would pinch my waist in two. That would be a bad way to go. Well, this thing tightens and tightens and tightens and eventually pinches it in two. What's the so you can see it getting really tight right What's the, um, the cleavage furrow is what we call it where it's pinching in. Cleavage, cleavage means a, an, an inward pinching. You all probably heard that word before. Yes. What's the what's the picture below it? Like the longest. It's the same line. cell. It's just stretching further and further. Okay. And those are the microtubules in between it. Yeah. 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 About to get destroyed. Yeah. Okay. They still haven't been destroyed yet. Why is the cell pinch in two? So it can separate into two daughter cells. 
That's right. Watch it. There's the ring. What's that called? The contractile ring. Doop. Ooh. That's, that's cytokinesis. That's a good and that's video. the animal cell? Yes, this is an animal cell. Oh, that is a good video, though. Oh, this one isn't playing anything. Oh, here it is. They are organized into increasingly they are organized into increasingly complex structures from microscopic cells. That was two cells actually pinching into. Sorry, it wasn't very good. Now plant cells do it differently. Plant cells can't pinch. So plant cells, what they do is they build a cell plate between them. The reason why they can't pinch is because cell walls can't be moved. They're like they're like chain link fences, and you can't pinch that. So the 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 plant cell will build a cell plate between its two cells. So it just like builds another wall. It builds a cell wall, exactly. Watch it do it. Here's video footage. When a plant cell divides, a new cell wall begins to form as the mitotic spindle breaks down. The first step is the formation of a phragmoplast, a collection of vesicles. This grows, coalesces, and gives rise to the new cell wall. More video footage, plant cells. The new cell wall can be seen forming as many vesicles fuse along the center of the cell. See the cell wall being formed? Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. Two new oh, look at the animal cells. As the cytoplasm right here. pinches off between the nuclei. Anaphase, watch. Pinching. Up. Ah. Can we watch that one again? Okay, one more time. Watch it. Bro, would that really, would that really happen? Like the new cell wall back? can be seen no, sped up. as many vesicles fuse along the center of the cell. It's about an hour sped up into a few seconds. Watch the animal cells. Watch the Two right new animal cells are formed as the cytoplasm pinches off between the nuclei. Yeah, that takes about an hour in human cells. You like all of your cells do it? Like all the cells that are, are growing and dividing are doing it. So all your skin cells, that's how new skin cells are created. Your, your cells produce your hair, because your hair is growing. Fingernails, intestines and the inside of your mouth. There are cells that aren't dividing. Your brain cells aren't dividing. Why not? Uh, they, all, they all finish dividing when you're a fetus. Pretty much don't get any new brain cells after that. So, oh, that's why it's bad to sniff sharpies and stuff. Yeah, what? Isn't that hard. why it's bad to like sniff sharpies? Yeah, or any yeah, any you, any drugs you do. I thought brain you made cells. new brain cells. What's that? Yeah, I thought drug. you were constantly making more. Nope. Of them. You never get new brain cells. Okay. You never get new brain cells. That's why old people are senile. Senility means. You've wow. lost a lot of brain cells and you just can't think straight anymore. Oh, is that why when you're younger you learn easier? It's correct. Right. You more, I guess. Watch it. This plant cell yeah, has right. almost completed a mitotic division. A phragmoplast, a collection of vesicles, forms between the two masses of chromosomes. The phragmoplast coalesces and gives rise to a cell plate. And the cell plate develops into the new cell wall separating the daughter cells. There's a big vacuole. Interesting. I never never saw one. Okay, so you want to see the whole thing? Stupid yes. video. You want to do the stupid video first? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, the stupid video, this is called asexual reproduction. This is love. With cells. It's a single cell doing asexual reproduction. That's, see, that's asexual reproduction. See, it's in a honeymoon suite. That's a heart-shaped bed. There's only one. Because that's how asexual creatures do it. Uh, see, it's a joke. It's a sex joke. Pro. Are, are there like, some like, frogs and stuff that can do that? Um, there are some ways of organisms reproducing asexually. 
And some insects do it. I don't know about frogs. I've never heard of frogs. Okay, check this out. Here's the whole thing. If you write what this guy says, it's a good essay. See if you understand what he's saying. That's a cell. If we write exactly what he says. Let's dive into this animal cell and see how mitosis works. <laughs> we pass through the plasma membrane, revealing the nuclear envelope with its pores. That's the nucleus. There are two centrosomes to the right of the nucleus and a nucleolus within it. Centrioles. During prophase, the chromatin is condensing. Each chromosome what? consists what? of two chromatids. The nucleolus breaks down and the centrosomes move apart, building the spindle and asters as they go. The disappearance of the nuclear membrane marks the beginning of prometaphase. During prometaphase, the spindle invades the nuclear region. Spindle fibers are forming and breaking down. Watch it, watch it, what phase? Phase like kill them. Anaphase, oh, that's meta. 
That's I can't tell. Oh, no, I can't see that. Watch. Keep watching. Anaphase. Oh. Anaphase. Like Telephase. It looks like a bunch of smoke. It looks like a cell doing anaphase. Telephase. Now cytokine. Plant cell, animal cell. Plant cell. Plant cell. cell. Plant cell. The reason why most of these videos are plant cells are because plant cells are easier to get under the microscope. Animal cells are more difficult. What's shock? It looked like something from. Want to do a shockwave or file? Sure. What's that? Most eukaryotic cells follow a process of growth and division called the cell cycle. What is going on? Oh crap! Here we go. Most eukaryotic cells follow a process of growth and division called the cell cycle. These events include a growth stage, mitosis, or nuclear division, and cytokinesis, or division of the cytoplasm. Throughout interphase, the cell is engaged in growth and metabolic activities. Interphase can be further broken down into three discrete phases called G1, S, and G2. During the G1, or first growth phase, Normal cell functions occur as well as cell growth. See the cells getting bigger? In the S phase, DNA replicates, producing two copies of each chromosome. See the fishing line copy the cell. During the G2 phase, the cell continues to prepare for mitosis and cell division. Did you notice something that happened during that G2? I did. All I saw was the centrioles go farther apart. The centrioles copy themselves during G2. Yep. So See, we have one pair of centrioles, now we have two pairs. So they do copy themselves? Yeah, during uh, G2 they copy themselves. I keep bringing that G2. Watch well, division. Mitosis, or the M phase, has four stages. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. He said telophase. During prophase, the chromosomes become visible and condense, becoming shorter and thicker. Each identical copy of a single chromosome is called a sister chromatid. The nuclear envelope breaks down and spindle fibers form as microtubules grow out of the centrioles that move to opposite poles of the cell. During metaphase, the double-stranded chromosomes line up along the equator of the cell. The spindle is now fully formed and the microtubules attach to each sister chromatid. Watch it, y'all. Anaphase begins when the sister chromatids of each chromosome begin to separate. The centromere that holds sister chromatids together divides, and the chromosomes move away from each other along its spindle fiber. In telophase, the two groups of chromosomes reach the opposite ends of the cell. As a new nuclear envelope starts to form around each group, the chromosomes uncoil and the spindle disappears. Plant cell or animal cell? Animal. The division of the cytoplasm and organelles is called cytokinesis, or the C phase. The result of mitosis and cytokinesis is the formation of two genetically identical cells. To summarize the entire cycle, G1, S, and G2 phases occur during... Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. So... Basically, what we've done, we copied the DNA. Remember, these were identical copies. I remember that. Made during S phase. Yeah. And then, then we moved the two copies to either side. Yeah. Now each cell has a copy of each chromosome. Yeah. So there, these cells are genetically identical. When we say genetically identical, that means they have the same genes, the same DNA. Now, there can be mistakes in the copying process. They're called mutations. Sometimes mutations hurt. hurt. Oh, this battery is blinking. Okay, we'll just let it go until it, until it dies. We're pretty much done. Now, 